Good evening, guys. Beltmark Bill back. Um, milestone evening. Tonight I hit 100 subscribers to this little channel of mine. Thank you. I, like I've said before, I fully expected maybe 50, 60 views to the little things that I do here. This is kind of my therapy. And uh, I, I sure appreciate that. 100 subscribers. Cool. Keep them coming. Um, anyway, enough of that. Brevity is important. New belt day was the end of last week. Um, the day job kind of prevents me from getting right into it sometimes. And lately I've had Mondays and Tuesdays off, so I'm able to sit down with you finally and put a new belt up. It's a belt a lot of people have seen before. It's a belt that uh, lots of reviews have been done about, I'm sure. But this one's my review, and that's what makes it cool. Um, quick shout out. To John Barbarossa, AJSBelts.com. Thank you very much for the deal. Very pleased with the product. Um, if you collect replica belts, championship belts, real belts, that kind of thing, or just a wrestling fan, check out his website, AJSBelts.com. Really cool guy. Really cool deals. Very happy to have this one. And enough of my flapping gums. Let's show you what it is. Old school scratch WWE logo. Heavyweight commemorative. Yes, it's another commemorative belt. I'm winding up becoming the king of commemorative belts at this point. But I do have some replicas in my collection as well. But the commemorative belts really allow me at the price point to really amass a bigger collection. Who knows? Maybe one of these days the, the uh, commemoratives will go away for one really cool replica you never know. This thing is going to keep on going. But anyway, enough of my flapping gums. Again, let's get this bag down. Let's show you what I got here. Um, and here we go. Take the bag off. Wah! How shiny am I? Look at that. The WWE World Heavyweight Championship. This is a 2013 edition. This is the version of this belt that I wanted. John... Gave me a great deal. AJSBelts.com. Check them out. As always, let's go all the way over to this side to the mail snap box. The mail snap box is stitched on. The mail snap box is two by eight males. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, two by eight. That would have sucked otherwise. Decorative tooling on the strap. It is a faux leather strap, as usual, with all of the details. As if really tooled by a leather crafter. Camouflage shell tooling around the plates. Did a pretty good job with this one. And you can see the cut. Let me show you the leather cut. I always like the cut on the big gold. The way it looks. I'm down off the side plate. Into that. Very nice. The first side plate. I call this pattern like a feathered pattern or feathering pattern. Feathered swirls. But they really did a good job with this. The grapplers in the center are a nice 3D raised, even for just two millimeter plates. That's all they are, two millimeter. Accentuated by four faux, F-A-U-X, faux rubies, plastic. But still cool, they get the point across. Very shiny. Acrylic plastic, not metal. But the border around it. You can hear that deeply. Nice impression, even on a two millimeter. Very nice. The center plate, the main plate, the world famous center plate. This is why I've always wanted the big gold. I remember Ric Flair bringing this thing out for the first time in 86. Here we go. WWE version. Scratch WWE logo up in the top. World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. The crown in the center has four faux diamonds and two little faux rubies. And then we have the globe under that. Grapplers, again, to the sides, just like on the side plates. It doesn't look like any different. No, they're no different. Nice 3D raised. That swirled feathered pattern. The original Big Gold was made by a, a rodeo belt maker, rodeo belt buckle maker. 
Uh, I have the book, The Big Gold Belt. Very cool book. Check it out. Um, but this very much reminds me of a rodeo belt buckle. Now, for the price, John at AJ's, AJS Belts threw in a nameplate, and I picked Triple H. WWEshop.com says that these are not engravable. I have a little clue for you coming up in a pos uh, possibly coming up in a video for nameplates. These are vinyl letters that John put on there. Pretty cool, but nameplates, subject for another day. There are eight faux rubies on the main center plate. Nothing missing, nothing scratched. Everything looking nice and shiny. The leather cut, as you can see, follows around the main plate. As on the real belt. Then we get into the second side plate. Whoops, the second side plate. Just like the first one, no difference. The grapplers are in the same position, facing the same way. Faux rubies, rope border, feathers and swirls. Very shiny, very cool. Really, a man always wanted one of these. And then the leather cut on this end as well. I'll show you. The way it slopes down right there. You can see the camouflage shell tooling. You can see the little design marks there. Coming into the female snap box. The female snap box is also stitched on and is the typical 2x5 gold snaps. Really looks like cut by a leather swivel tool up in here. Did a good job on this. I like that they spared few details in the commemoratives. Now, this I said in the beginning of the video, this is the version I wanted, and I'm about to show you why this is the version I wanted. The back has the red crocodile backing. A commemorative belt, a plastic belt. Some will turn their nose up at it, but look at the detail of this thing. Red crocodile backing. And it shines a little bit too. Pretty nice. See the commemorative belt, typical commemorative belt rivets. And the back patch. Official WWE Authentic Commemorative Championship title made in China, WWEshop.com. Copyright 2013 with the WWE hologram logo sticker thing right there. Now, the nameplate has two screws like on the United States belt. So the nameplate does come off. Because it is plastic, it is probably not engravable. The vinyl letters are a good idea. Stay tuned for more details on a good idea. Anyway, you can see here the backing, the red crocodile back all the way to the end of this. Pretty darn cool, man. Very, very happy with this one. As the last thing I want to show you, like I said previous, it is a two millimeter belt, but for a two millimeter belt, it's got a little bit of a curve to it. Not a crazy curve, but a little bit of a curve. I'll get you a little bit. The side plate's a little bit more so. The overall flexibility is not wonderful. But I was able to get it to whoops, fold a little bit for a cool picture on a bench. Something like that. It was warmer outside. Uh, I find with these replica straps, especially the commemorative replica straps, uh, you know, you take them outside in the sun, they heat up, they get nice and soft. You could work them a little bit back and forth, break them in somewhat. Uh, be careful of the little rivets in the back. A lot of people complain that the rivets pop and break. I've never had that problem with them. Um, but anyway, care must be taken when working them in. Anyhow, there you have it, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Like I said, there's probably a lot of videos on this belt on YouTube, but this is my video on this one. And I don't remember seeing one as in-depth with the Red Crocodile backing. The Red Crocodile backing really does make the thing, I think. But enough of that and there you have it WWE World Heavyweight Championship Commemorative Edition 
Uh, thank you again, John Barbarossa, AJSBelts.com, for the great deal. Uh, and the fast shipping. Wonderful. Um, 100 subscribers tonight. Man, thank you very much. Very, very cool. Please click subscribe. Please leave a nice comment. People have been leaving pretty cool comments, man. Sylvester Gilmore, cool comment. Um, click like. Click dislike. I sleep well either way. What can I tell you? I'm going to keep doing it. Um, pretty soon, maybe, we're going to have a little something to talk about with rep, uh, commemorative belt, belt nameplates. Um, that'll be coming up in a future video. And, of course, you'll be hearing my predictions for Extreme Rules coming up Sunday, I think, May 22nd. I hope I'm not wrong. I'm going to look stupid, but I think it's May 22nd. I'll be working early that day, coming home, watching the show, and live tweeting during. Anyway, brevity is important. You've seen the belt. You, you got my thoughts on it. Please watch. Please continue to watch. Please continue to subscribe. Click like. Click comment. Click dislike. Click, click, click. And that's it for me. Belt Mark Bill, out. One last look. Ooh, ah, uh, purdy. Yes, sir. Bill out. Thanks for watching.